Dimensions Tech Tip. This is Kevin Holbrook, and I will be continuing our series of tips and tricks for SOLIDWORKS 2016. Let's start off in the sketching environment. If we look at tools like trim entities and some of the options within the trim entities like Power Trim, we're all familiar with you mouse over an entity that it does trim it back. But did you know that you could mouse back over the points and it will untrim? On top of that, if you were to hold down shift while performing the trim, that will perform a, an extend operation, which also you can go black, back over the dots to unextend. Continuing in the sketch environment, if we add tangent arcs fairly regularly, and it's pretty easy with a tangent arc to get the first tangency at the point in which you're making the connection. However, where, when you add the second connection point, for instance, in the case of this other line here, you'll notice that the tangency does not get added to the geometry. So what you have to do typically is control select both items and add tangency. What you may not know is you can pick the point between the two entities and it looks at the adjacent entities and gives you some relationships that make sense, in this case tangent and I'm able to easily add that tangency without control selecting. Now, if you do a lot of up to surface extrusions, if I decide to go up to surface, I'm typically going back over to the property manager, selecting up to surface, and then picking the surface I wanna go up to. Did you know that you're able to double click on a surface? The software will automatically change the direction to up to surface and populate the resulting face with the face that you double clicked on giving you the proper end condition. Some tips and tricks in the sketch and extrusion environment. Now let's talk a little bit about uh, assemblies for a moment. When working with large assemblies it becomes imperative to be able to show and hide components that you want to work on very easily. Now, sometimes with a very long feature tree, going through the feature tree and finding out uh, what's hidden or finding the things that you want to hide uh, becomes a little bit tough. If you've never used it, the select arrow on the standard toolbar has a small consolidated menu built into it. This consolidated menu has all of our selection tools. Now, at the bottom part of this menu, you see a bunch of text. These are predefined selection criteria. Let's try one on for size. If I decide to select all the tool cup, toolbox components, it then selects them all in the graphics area. It's, it's hard to tell that they're selected. However, if I right click and select isolate, it will actually show me all the components that I have selected using the selection tool. Now I can do things like hiding them and suppressing them. It makes it very easy to hide and show what I need. On top of the predefined selection criteria, if we go to the bottom here, there's an option called Advanced Select where we can create our own selection criteria. In this case, I might come in and say, you know what, let's find everything with a file type that equals sheet metal part. And if I apply it, I then can close this dialog and do the same thing, which is isolate what I've already selected, and now I have all my sheet metal parts. Now, a little note in this dialog as well, if we were to set up the criteria like we did before to find all my sheet metal parts, I can actually give the search a name. I'm just gonna call this SM, and there will populate a save button once you type in the name, and by saving it, it then puts it into this other tab called Manage Searches. This has all the saved searches that you've created, and here I can add it to my favorites. When I add it to my favorites, it now shows up in the pull-down menu as a search that I pre-populated. It's all ready to go and I can use it in the future. On to drawings for a moment. Have you ever wondered when you create a drawing and somebody modifies the part, you ever wondered what they changed the last time they had it open? Well, here I have a SOLIDWORKS drawing open and you'll notice that three or four of the dimensions show up in a different color. 
This is because I have a few settings turned on inside of SOLIDWORKS. If I go to my Tools Options, System Options, Colors, there's an option to use specified color for change drawing dimensions on open. And if I look down the options, uh, there is a drawings change dimension color that I can specify. So each time you open a drawing and the model's been modified since the drawing was last open, those dimensions will show up in that color only for the first time. Once you save it, they will disappear. And for my final tip or trick, I want to talk a little bit about opening drawings uh, in a, in a different mode that makes it easier to work with. Now I'm using the recent document window because I can get to all the same options that I can get to in file open in recent documents. You'll notice the little uh, double arrow in the bottom corner of this drawing that I have here. By expanding that, I can get to the different modes of opening a drawing. And what I want to show you today is something called Quick View. When I select Quick View, it's like opening a read-only version of the drawing that's really an image. And if I look at this, you saw how quickly it was able to open it. Now this particular drawing has three sheets. As I mouse over the other sheets, I get a preview of those sheets. If I select on them, it will bring those sheets to the forefront. Now nothing is loaded at this point, so it was very quick. However, if I was going to mo modify this faucet assembly at this point, I could right click on that particular sheet and tell it to load the sheets. And now I'll have all the drawing view information and the models loaded and I'm ready to go ahead and continue to work. So that's my tech tips for today. Thank you for stopping into another tech tip. We hope you join us again soon. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.